What's going on everyone? It is Gary and welcome back to another tutorial. Now today's video we're going over a basic illustrator tutorial. This tutorial is going to be focused on the shape builder tool. Now the shape builder tool is the most important part of illustrator to know, especially when you're learning logo design. Now this tool is going to help you guys basically increase your workflow and also the quality of work that you produce. Now it's fairly easy to learn and uh, I just want you guys to always know that you have to practice using it. You're not going to pick it up just in one day and know how to use it perfectly. It is going to take you guys some time to get used to. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial and basically show you how it works, why you want to use it, and how I'm going to use it to create this. A bunch of shapes and stuff on the left hand side and turn it into a G on the right hand side. So what I want everyone to do is open up Illustrator as you guys are watching this tutorial and open up a new document for a size of 1280 by 720. So basically you can leave this the way it is, we're just going to use it as a reference and then come over here and grab, let's just say a rectangle and draw one rectangle across your screen, put the fill color to let's just say black and the stroke to nothing and then go back over, hit the selection tool or hit V on your keyboard, click down, grab the um, shape tool once again and grab let's just say an eclipse and we're gonna make the color let's just say purple and we're gonna draw one circle through the square and then we're gonna hit V on our keyboard click on the document once again grab the circle and then we're gonna get a different color let's just say blue and then we're gonna drag that above both of them so what you can do now is basically grab your selection tool or hit V on your keyboard, highlight the entire section, and you're going to see that each object has its own path around it. Now these paths are, you know, basically shown by these really thin blue lines surrounding the object. And you can see where they cross, where they intersect, and everything like that. So what's cool about the shape builder tool, so if you go over here on the left hand side to our tools, so you'll see it below the pin one, it's called the shape builder tool, you guys can hit shift M on your keyboard. Once you click that, and you hover over sections of the shapes that are basically put together, you're gonna to see that it leaves like a checkerboard um, layer over everything. So just mess around, look around, just see how it changes depending on what shape you basically hover over. So the way you use this is you hold Alt on your keyboard and you basically hover over the certain shape that you wanna delete. Let's just say, for example, I wanna delete this little thin area right here. You click once on your mouse and it's basically gone. So let's just say we wanna delete this part. We'll click right here. And we want to delete this and let's just say that so this is what we want to delete you can hit v on your keyboard again you can click once on the document or on the you know the background layer and you're going to see that everything that you hold alt and clicked on it's basically gone away so the reason why i wanted to show you guys how that works so easily is because the way we use it in logo design so you guys know especially especially when you're doing like logo designs whether it's letters whether it's shapes or objects whatever it is you know that you're gonna have to cut out objects with objects so you can see here this is a little bit more of a complex image however I'm gonna get to this in just a moment to show you guys really the true you know power of this tool so just one second I want to show you guys how to create basically a really easy G just to show you guys the uh, the way that the paths work and how the shape builder tool can really put everything to use. So a really easy G is basically one big circle. Let's hit control C, control F, hold alt and shift and make it a little bit smaller. And you're gonna see that this inner path is gonna go down with these blue lines, let go of the mouse and you're gonna see that now you have two circles. So what I'm gonna do is grab a rectangle and I'm gonna try to match from the path of the outer circle and it's going to try to find its way and click with the path of the inner circle. If for some reason that's not happening, all you have to do is change the color of the inner circle since it's going to get deleted anyways, and then move the rectangle so it matches. Turn it over. Let's just say our G is going to go right here and it's going to go into the middle. Hold C, hold F, and then bring it up. And you're going to see basically these weird shapes. So believe it or not, if I highlight all of this, Grab my shape builder tool, hold alt, click in the middle to delete that one layer, click this extra little link, click the middle part, click these extra little two parts, and let go. We have a letter G. So it's really easy to use and it's really fun. What I want you guys to watch out, especially when you're using this though, if you hold shift for too long and you drag it over more than one thing, you're going to realize that it's actually going to take over more than one object. So if I hold alt, and I drag it over, let's just say four things and I let go of it, it's going to delete every section that I held. Of course, that's going to helpful if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then it's going to get a little bit of a hassle. 
So with that being said, let's show you guys the real power of how this is used. So in the next part of the section, I'm not going to talk. I'm basically going to make a little bit of speed art, and I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the final logo that we created in this tutorial. You guys can see how powerful the Shape Builder tool is. Now before I leave this video, I want to give you guys a couple more tips. Now the first tip is to always go into your um, logo that you just created or the um, basically the design. Go in it, make sure that all these sharp edges are cut out of it because sometimes when you're using the Shape Builder tool, there's going to be little sharp pointy edges sticking out of shapes like this just randomly that you forgot to click out of. So just grab your Shape Builder tool, hold all and delete that. The next thing that you can also do is if you messed up sometimes and you like made a really hard cut, just grab your pen tool and just kind of even out that cut just as fast as you can and as cleanly as you can. And then instead of going inside the logo, go around the logo, highlight all of it and you're going to see this little sliver cut right here. You can basically delete this and that and it rounds out everything for you. And it makes life a lot easier instead of going throughout the whole entire thing again. So that's basically the tutorial. That's how you take a bunch of shapes and turn it into a logo. The Shape Builder tool is so important to know and so important to use. So with this tutorial, I hope you guys learned a lot. Like I said, guys, make sure to practice as much as you can because practice makes perfect. And don't get discouraged if you guys cannot create something with a snap of a finger without any practice. With that being said, make sure to subscribe and turn my notifications on the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm Garrett, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.